Welcome. So how do you solve one-step equations? And basically, one step means you only have to apply one step to solve the equation. Um, and that one step is going to be applying our inverse operations. So let me go and kind of give you some examples, and I'll talk through exactly how we're going to do this. So let's say we have here x plus 3 equals 9, x minus 3 equals 9, 3x equals 9, and x over 3 equals 9. OK, so what I have here on the board are four different examples of one-step equations. And when we're solving one-step equations, to kind of give you the quick little you know, fast-paced kind of tutorial, what we want to do is we want to isolate the variable. We want to get the variable by itself. So we circle the variable and say, all right, what do I need to do? Or what is happening to that variable that I need to undo, that I need to apply the inverse operation for? So here, you can say that my variable is being added by 3. So I need to apply the inverse operation. Here, my variable is being subtracted by 3. So I have to apply the inverse operation of subtraction, which is addition. Addition, the inverse operation is subtraction. Here, my variable is being multiplied by 3. So I need to divide by 3. And here, my variable is being divided by 3. So I need to multiply by 3. Um, so applying the inverse operation is important, but then we also have to make sure we apply the properties of equality. And what that means is to produce equivalent equations, um, to not have our answer change, whatever we do on one side of the equation, we have to apply to the other side of the equation. So if I subtract 3 over here, I have to subtract 3 over here. If I add 3 on the left side, I have to add 3 on the right side. If I divide by 3 on the left side, I have to divide by 3 on the right side. And if I multiply by 3 on the left side, I have to multiply by 3 on the right side. Now. What, the reason why we chose to use our inverse operations is because adding and subtracting give us 0. And then I can solve those. So I have x plus 0 equals 12. But multiplication and division, those inver inverse operations give us 1. What am I doing? I'm supposed to divide, right? OK, 3 divided by 3 goes to 1. 3 divided by 3 goes to 1. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0. Positive 3 minus 3 is 0. Well, we don't need to write the x, um, x plus 0 or 1 times x anymore. So you can see when solving these, 27, I have now solved for the value. I've now said my variable is equal to this value. And when you take that value and put it back into your equation, that will make it true. What number plus 3 equals 9? 6. What number minus 3 equals 9? 12. What number times 3 equals 9? 3. What number divided by 3 equals 9? 27. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's just kind of the quick little process on how we're going to solve inverse, or sorry, one-step equations. Thanks.